It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we have a beer from Hoff Brew House. This is their Weizen beer. Weizen beer. It's an Oktoberfest beer coming in at 6.2% ABV. Initially, it got me a little confused because I was thinking, this is Weiss beer. But then I held the bottle up to the light and it's quite clear. So, I like to go into my beer reviews blind. I like to pick up my own tastes. Um, I like to think after 8,000 beers, I can work something out for myself. What I don't like to do is look at the, you know, there's a temptation to go, right, okay, um, I'm not really sure what this is, so I'm going to go and have a look online. But then all you're picking up then is other people's opinions, not your own. So here's a look at the bottle cap. The beer was kindly sent to us by our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk. Fantastic company with beer from all over the world. If you live in the UK, it's all over the world. You can pick it up, beersofeurope.co.uk, from America, Germany, France, Belgium, lots and lots of different countries. I like to think if you've been on holiday somewhere and you found a beer that you really enjoyed whilst on holiday or on your travels, maybe you're working away. Then you can come home and you can see if you can find it in the UK and you can enjoy it over here. So check out the link in the description box of the video and on we go. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. If you were to ask me to guess on this 6.2% ABV beer in a 500 litre bottle, I would say with the word Weizen beer, Weiss, maybe it's a, it's, maybe it's a crystal Weiss. Maybe it's an Oktoberfest beer, but we'll work it all out now. I put it in a vice beer glass because I was kind of thinking it may have been a vice beer, but I mean, it's fine. German beer can go in these sorts of glasses. I don't think it's anything like a vice beer, not, not even a crystal vice, just, just by holding this beer from... 15 inches from my nose that it is. I'm picking up more kind of strong lager aromas rather than kind of esters of banana and clove and beautiful kind of, yeah, vice beer aromas. It's, it's not coming. I would have got it by now. But beer in hand, carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. golden amber in colour. I really want to get as much of this beer in the glass as possible. It's probably a filtered beer, it's probably not unfiltered. There's, there's not much left, it would, it would be clear, it would be kind of hazy by now if it was. Aroma then, Yeah, it's kind of whole mealy, whole meal kind of nutty bread. Very nice, very nice aroma. Definite German yeast usage going on here. You can you can definitely smell a A slight estery aroma coming through. But then it's all biscuit and bread and nuttiness. Let's, oh, let's get this last bit in now. And let's dive into this beer then. Here we go. Clear, clear beer. Oh, it's delicious. Delicious. When you're... When you're thinking about another style of beer, when you're kind of... 
was absolutely sure that this was going to be a vice beer of some kind. I've even made the thumbnail, which I need to change now. I need to make another thumbnail for the video. Um, there can be a kind of element of slight disappointment if you're thinking, right, I've, I've kind of, I picked this thinking vice beer. Um, but of course, it's a different language. It's a dim different language. I suppose, in, in, in honesty, that would be the benefit of looking online. But again, it's working it, working it out for yourself. I've gone from being slightly disappointed that it's not a vice beer to really happy by the way this beer is tasting in general. It's really, it's got a lo lovely mouthfeel. A nice creaminess to it. What I'm trying to say is more full body than 6.2% ABV. Then it's then it's big, kind of strong, malty, biscuity, nutty, wholemeal bread. Strong ale, strong, strong lager. It's a classic. It's a real classic. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of the flavour. It's got a lovely bitterness on the back end. Starts off by being wholemeal and bready and nutty and sweet. And then it goes over to being bitter on the back end. Sweet here. Bitter here. With a lovely traditional kind of stinging nettle hop middle to finish where you're kind of picking up them stinging nettle flavours after you've had all that malt to begin with you're picking up a, a spicy peppery stinging nettle like hop in the middle and it's kind of carrying you carrying it through to the bitterness on the back end if you don't know the stinging nettle hop the stinging nettle flavour in from the hop is because the stinging nettle and the hop are cousins on the Darwin tree of life. They kind of they just kind of branch off from one another, but they're very close to being the same thing. Hops don't sting you; they just give you fantastic flavours from if you stick them in a boil kettle or in a fermenter. But then again, the stinging nettle will. They used to use stinging nettles before they found hops it was a very ancient way of preserving a beer was using stinging net stinging nettles i really like it i really do i love that look at that now as i roll the beer around in the glass look at that fantastic look to the beer Right, let's see if there's any English on the back of this bottle. I doubt it very much. Now, it's a beer from Munich. It's an Oktoberfest beer from Munich. It's 6.2% ABV and it's by Hofbrewhaus.com. They've been brewing since 1829 in Munich. So, rating for this Hofbrewhaus Weissen beer. It's so close to being called Weiss beer, isn't it? It, it certainly confused me. It looks good, it smells good, it tastes wonderful. I really like it. I like that enough to give it a stone the crows. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!